SpaceX has grown to be the dominant launch provider among the space industry. The Falcon 9 has had an amazing track record with more than 100 successful launches, and the first stage has proven itself with rapid reusability. The Dragon spacecraft has returned NASA astronauts to the ISS launched from U.S. soil, not done since the shuttle's retirement in 2011. The Starship program has also made rapid progress and SpaceX has shown no signs of slowing down in reaching their goal of getting humans to Mars. SpaceX is definitely in first place among rocket competitor companies. But it's got me asking, who comes in second place? And could anyone be as innovative and disruptive as SpaceX? Personally, I believe the title for a second place should go to a rising star among the small launch industry. I'm of course talking about Rocket Lab. For a small rocket company, they have made some impressive achievements and they plan on scaling up to compete against bigger rocket competitors. Their plans are potentially setting themselves up to take on SpaceX. Hey. I'm Eric. Welcome to the Space Stock Exchange, where we talk about space companies, space stocks, and the space industry in general. Rocket Lab has gained more interest lately, but has had some setbacks too. Recently, the company announced plans to go public through a special purpose acquisition company, also known as a SPAC. The SPAC, ticker name VACQ, will merge with Rocket Lab allowing the company to be publicly traded on the NASDAQ. After the merger is complete, Rocket Lab will be listed as space ticker RKLB. I've already bought some shares in VACQ. I'm definitely excited about being invested in this space stock because I ha see huge potential with Rocket Lab and I think they have some uh, exciting disruptive opportunities coming in the future. So, some basics. Rocket Lab was founded in 2006 by engineer Peter Beck. Their main launch pad is in New Zealand and another on Wallops Island in Virginia. Their current rocket is called the Electron, a small lift orbital launch vehicle powered by nine Rutherford engines. Electron has the capability to deploy up to 300 kilograms into low Earth orbit. Rocket Lab started their first Electron launches back in 2017 and have made more than a dozen successful flights to orbit. And the Electron is in the early phases of ro rocket recovery. They have made some big announcements that could disrupt the entire space industry. So, a few months ago, Peter Beck announced that Rocket Lab was going to build a bigger rocket named Neutron. That rocket would offer heavy launch performance, reusability, and human space flight capability. The goal of Neutron is to service growing market requirements such as customers focused on building constellations of satellites. Beck even ate part of his hat with this announcement since he had said before on Twitter that he believed the electron reusability would not have been possible. Electron has proven to be partially reusable and the company says the experience gathered with Electron will help go towards Neutron's development. The problem Rocket Lab currently faces in the satellite launch business is more small rocket competition is coming to the market. So, for example, Virgin Orbit, Astra, Relativity, Firefly, many others. Beck also believes satellite demand is shifting from smaller rockets to larger rockets for delivering heavier payloads. Electron is in danger of losing market share to competition from both small rockets and larger launch systems as well. Also, SpaceX has begun to creep in with their Falcon 9 rideshare program that small satellites are using who would otherwise be launching on small rockets like Electron. The Neutron will be capable of competing with medium to large class launch systems including the Falcon 9. 
The Neutron's potential is what really excites me as an investor of Rocket Lab. Companies like ULA have been more resistant to change and have doubted the benefits of reusability. ULA failed to adapt to change when SpaceX began to make significant gains in the launch industry. Rocket Lab will not make the mistake to adapt to rapidly changing the launch industry, and I believe will continue to lead in the small launch industry and expand into larger launch vehicle markets, possibly overtaking ULA and many other global launch systems. When Neutron enters service in 2024, it could be behind SpaceX in launch capability. So that's that's all I'm going to say for now about Rocket Lab. I might talk about them more in the future. I've been talking about Virgin Galactic and Momentous Space, and I plan on talking more about other companies. I want to try to cover the space industry in general and uh, many companies that are publicly traded also companies that are not publicly traded but they might be publicly traded later on in the future if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe if you subscribe that lets me know what my audience wants and i will provide better content i'll provide more information and uh, hopefully we can continue to build this channel and uh, that's what i'd love to see so uh Thanks again, and uh, I'll see you next time.